love it, the calls. You'll eventually get the 20% back. That Silver Connect card is going to pay her co-payments. Remicade, I believe, is an injectable. And her hospitalization co-payments. And tell them to turn his Part B on. Okay, top of the hour. This is uh, Medicare and You. This is Michael Regan. Today is November 30th, the last day of the month. So make sure you get all your changes in for insurance by the end or get your late letter. Um, if you don't have a late letter, no one's getting insurance for December 1st. All right. First of all, I cannot thank you enough for listening to me. Um, the show's really taken off. I'm getting calls left and right. I am getting people at the office coming in. We have John A.K. here as our producer. We have producer Nick. Um, I got to tell you a story, funny story. We have been uh, introduced to YouTube. I have never once had a website, um, never surfed YouTube ever in my life until um, the YouTube page came up. The reason we went on YouTube is to actually take the knowledge more than just the greater Waterbury area. Um, all right, I guess I got to tell my story in a little while. We got callers waiting for me. All right, Johnny K, put them through. Caller on line one, how can I help you? Hi, Mike. Yes. Uh, my name is Linda, and uh, I am about a year away from going on Medicare. Okay. And um, I'm calling really to reach out to you with my situation. Um, I retired last year. Uh, just before my 62nd birthday okay. uh, from a, a large bank. Okay, one moment. Linda, no last names for HIPAA. Uh, your uh, name is Linda. You're how young? Uh, 60. Uh, now I'm 64. Okay, so you're 64 now. Okay. Right. You retired? I retired last year. Okay. And uh, I was put on COBRA along with my husband. And coverage would be in force for 18 months, and that would end in April of 2012. Okay. Um, I've begun looking around for continued health care and have been told that we would be declined because of pre-existing conditions. Um, my husband has type 2 diabetes and high blood pressure, and I had a heart valve repair about six years ago. Okay, slow down. You're going way too fast. <clears throat> Husband has type 2 diabetes. diabetes. And you have? And I had a heart valve repair about six years ago. Did they go with the bovine? Uh, no, it was a repair. It wasn't a replacement. Okay, so heart valve repair. Okay. Um, as a 64-year-old... Unfortunately, Obamacare hasn't kicked in yet, so they're still doing what we call underwriting. Uh -huh. um, have you applied for individual insurance? Uh, I have begun calling around, hey, and like Tom. I said, have been told that uh, uh, we would be declined because of those pre-existing conditions. And my only option right now seems to be the high-risk policy. Um, and that you're talking about the health reinsurance pool, right? Okay, that's that's the HRA, Health Reinsurance Association. Right. Have you looked into what they call Charter Oak? Uh, no, not Give as of time. yet. I'm kind of like, time. this is all new to me, Mike, so I'm kind of like just feeling my way through. I don't really have anybody to advise me. No problem. That's obviously why you're listening to the show. How you doing? Right. Um, okay, first of all, let me thank you very much for listening. Second, let me tell you, just from listening to your scenario, you're a retiree, you're 64 now. When did you retire? I retired in October of 2010. So you were how young? I was um, 62 when I retired. I was uh, just a couple of weeks away from my 63rd birthday. Okay. How young is your husband? Uh, my husband will be 63 in January, so he's 62 right now. Okay, 62 now. Um, did you talk to the human resources person at the bank, wherever you worked, no names of the bank either, uh, we don't want to call anybody out, did you look into a federal guideline called 03-77? Yes, I did, and I was told that um, they are not governed by um, state law, um, they are self-funded, 
and they go by the ERISA guidelines. So they will only cover us for the 18-month period. And even though I'm only like six months away after that from Medicare, um, so when I checked into the HRA, the high-risk insurance, um, it's going to cost, just for me, it would be almost $1,600 a month. It would be um, over $1,800 a month for my husband with a $1,500 a piece deductible. So it would cost us about $35,000 uh, for that six-month period that before I would go on to Medicare. Sure, sure. Um, okay. O three dash seventy seven states that if you are retiring or have been laid off and you're sixty two years or older, the COBRA does not run out until you're age sixty five. Because the bank is self funded, they do have the right to exercise um, Employee Retirement Insurance Security Act is ERISA. They said they're not governed by the state law, but they follow ERISA, correct? Right. Okay. E-R-I-S-A states, Employee Retirement Insurance Security Act. It was established in 1972. All they need to do is protect your rights. The COBRA, Consolidated Omnibus Budget Reconciliation Act, that's a federal guideline. So what they're doing is they're basically writing their own contract saying, we're not going to follow that. We're going to do what we want to do. Right. So we are now in a situation where, A, um, I'll have you call my agency and leave your name with me. I will reach out, um, but let me give you a website. I'm sure. Do you know how to use the computer a little bit? Yes. It's www.charter, C-H-A-R-T-E-R, oakhealthplan.com. I will try to sell you insurance, but because of what you've described enough just on the air right now, you mm -hmm. might be uninsurable. Mm -hmm. Do not apply for insurance with an insurance company and have your medical record hurt. The medical record is referred to as the MIB, the Medical Information Bureau. It is the FBI of insurance. The MIB will have all of your information Stored. So if you have a denial on that, then all the carriers just look at the MIB and they're going to not want anything to do with you. Okay. The carriers that have individual plans right now in the state of Connecticut are Anthem, Aetna, Connecticut, and there's a real stinky one called Golden Rule. It's kind of hidden behind United Healthcare One, but Golden Rule is really the insurance company. So um, you're going to get denied from those insurance companies. We don't want that. What okay. I do want you to do is leave your phone number with my staff, 757-6099, and um, I'll call you back off the air. But also look into call www.charteroakhealthplans.com. Okay. You don't really need to worry about whatever provider list of doctors. You just need insurance in, in the event, God forbid, anything happens. You need coverage. Right. So um, for your 64 years young now, you've got about six or eight months to go till you turn 65? Right. As well, no, it'll be a, a year. I turned 65 in November of 2012. Okay, so but as I soon as you the... turn 65, you're going to be eligible for a Medicare supplement or a Medicare Advantage. Okay. And that's what this show is about. It's educating people how the plans work. You will have guaranteed issue insurance for three months before your 65th birthday, three months after, and the month of. You will be able to secure a Medicare supplement starting the first of the month you turn 65. Okay. So well, regardless of your date of uh, the day in November, your Part B is going to kick in 11-1-2012. You're in the clear from then on out. So all we okay. need to get through is this window of time. Right. Your husband, type 2 diabetic, is that his only problem? And high blood pressure. And and high blood pressure. That's, right. That's not a total deal killer. He might be insurable somewhere, uh, but pursue the Charter Oak first. Call them today, and I will talk to you in a couple hours off the air. Okay. Hey, Thank pleasure you so to talk much, to you. Mike. Thank you, Linda, for listening. All right.
right. Bye bye. All right. But they're waiting in line. Oh, we have another caller. All right, people. Um, Medicare New, Michael Regan. Today's a good day. Caller, how can I help you? Hi, Mike. It's Stephanie. Oh, at the it's my friends. I love your voice. I know you, Stephanie <laughs> Harris at the museum. All right. Let's uh, have a little five minute recap. How is everything going with you at the museum? Great. We uh, actually just worked on our lineup for first Thursdays for the next couple of months. So I'm really excited about the performers that we have coming in. This is slow, nice and slow. Good time oldies show. Go, no, go slower. <laughs> so uh, this coming Thursday, we have Allie Ryerson coming in. Okay. Um, she's a Litchfield jazz performer, and um, she is a flautist, and she actually has her own line of flutes even. So very excited to have her coming in. And in uh, January, I'll just give you the next two. January, we time. have uh, Mario Pavone coming in. He's a Waterbury native, and he's out in New York City doing his thing, and he'll be back here to, to give us a performance um, January 5th. And he's a flautist as well? He is a bassist um, coming in with a, a whole ensemble, drums, vocals, uh, piano. <coughs> so it'll be a great musical great musical jam session. Exactly. You know, the flute is such a beautiful instrument, the way they make it make it hum. Um, and that's this Thursday? Yes. Allie Ryerson will be here this Thursday at and 5.30. What time? 5.30 to 7.30. She takes a short intermission, but it's a two-hour event. Sure. Yeah. And um, people, how much is the cost for this? Museum members, it's $7. Non-members is $15. But you get two free drinks, chips. And if you become a member of the museum at the event, you get in for free. Oh, that's an incentive to join, and why shouldn't they exactly, join? Exactly, exactly. And it's, uh, it's it's very inexpensive, and it's, uh, it's a great opportunity to uh, become involved and, and learn Waterbury history and Connecticut art. Okay, and how about um, you had spoken last week about Santa coming. When do we expect Santa? Yes, he'll be here Sunday, December 11th. Uh, we've got his sleigh all ready, and we're, we're getting ready for his arrival. Excellent. So, yeah, bring the grandkids, bring the kids down. Um, it should be a, a great time. It's from 1 to 4 on December 11th, which is a Sunday. Okay. So they can come down and tell Santa their wish list and, and enjoy the toy exhibit at the museum. And what's the cost for that? It is uh, $5 for museum families and $10 for non-museum families. Oh, that's a no-brainer. Right, and you can enjoy the entire uh, museum and go up to the Solowit exhibit, see the toy exhibit. So yeah, you, a, you described that last uh, week, the toys. I remember yeah, that being in my notes. Yeah, it was. it's great, and it's, it's up in the museum now. We've got trains and, and um, toys that were manufactured in Waterbury from the early 1900s. Mm -hmm. uh, so very, very cool, different kinds of pieces. Um, and should... People bring anything for the Santa? Are you doing like a homeless uh, person toy drive or can drive or anything like that? We weren't doing a toy drive. If they want to bring toys, we'd be happy to donate them to one of the local charities. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, There's so much need in the an unwrapped toy. You know what? Maybe you and I will uh, talk about that off the air. But, but that would be great. Yeah. It's definitely, definitely something, you know, nothing expensive, just a, a an unwrapped toy. There's... Uh, I do something with um, Jay up at the uh, TCs, and um, he has an unwrapped toy. It just there's a lot of people in need. You'd be so surprised. And it's, it's very simple to give back this time of year, yeah. and, it, and it means so and much it feels to people, good too. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, Absolutely. so obviously the Mattatuck Museum is a fantastic organization. You're such a pleasure to work with. You always are outreaching the community, and I think um, the flautist and the Santa are going to be great things in the next couple of days. Absolutely. So Mike. it's this Thursday for Allie Ryerson, and yeah. Sunday the 11th for Santa. Absolutely. Have a great afternoon, Stephanie. You too. Pleasure Thanks, to hear Mike. your voice. Enjoy the show. Yep. Thank you. Bye.